We'd like to wrap things up with a few questions about you and your campaign. And my first question is for Councilmember Perry. Name the top three endorsements you have and why they speak to your candidacy. Well, the first top endorsement would be for my wife. A lot of people do this. Uh, that, that's a key to being successful in all of this. Um, I, I have a, a number of endorsements. Um, both I, I have police, I have fire, I have the county sheriff, um, which shows their faith in me when it comes to public safety. Public safety is a is a big deal. Um, it's something we need to take. Um, we, we need more police officers, we need more equipment. We The fire department is working with trucks that are they're, they're very old and eventually we need to find the funding to um, Mr. Alzade, your top three uh, endorsements and why they speak to your candidates. Well, I'm glad to have the support of my boss. Uh, Congressman Takana has been incredibly uh, supportive of my career. And, you know, when you look towards elected officials, what you look for is a degree of mentorship. And I think I've been able to find that with the congressman. Uh, I've been working for him for six years now, so I am really appreciate that he's not only supporting me through this journey, but he's helping guide, my, guide me during this part of my career. Uh, and the other big one has got to be the, uh, the Building Trades Council uh, of uh, the Inland Empire. But the building trades are all the different manufacturers, I mean all the construction, the building construction trades are all the different organizations that make sure that we can build a better Riverside. And these are hardworking people and I'm, I'm really, really glad that uh, they can see uh, someone who has a working class background, whose father was also a union member, uh, succeed uh, now in this next iteration of their career. Thank you. My next question is for Mr. Elizalde. If you are elected, what three things should you be judged upon at the end of your first term? Results. I don't, I don't know like uh, what more uh, we can see. Uh, what, what more I can say. Uh, we have a lot of issues in our community. I think really it's about the economic disparity between uh, the and the years of lack of investment that have come from City Hall into Ward 6, and I'm not just talking about Orlando, but I mean, uh, La Sierra South, like there's a lot of parts that City Hall has been very, very glad to take our tax dollars and not necessarily produce very much uh, here, and especially when it's something that we're all paying for. Um, so I wanna say that uh, once we make sure that we have a higher quality of living uh, here in our community, and that we're doing a lot more to ensure that we have uh, young people that want to stay in our city and give back and, and provide a, a much more civic engagement. Councilman Perry, if you are re-elected, what are three things that you should be judged upon by voters at the end of your next term? How I represented each and every one of you. Have I been there when you've called? Have I shown up? Have I returned your phone call? And have I gotten things done for you? I think that's taken place. I think you need to judge me by my character. Again, I will also say results. When you've called me, when you've looked, when you've reached out to me and you've needed something, regardless of what time of day it is, regardless of what day of the week it is, whether you're getting a, a return email at 2 o'clock in the morning, because that's when I just happened to see it. I worked very hard for this for this board while I've been here. And there's been a lot of talk about downtown, and downtown gets this and downtown gets that. And some of this also with the budget deals with the amount of um, city facilities in each ward. Um, all of my campaign events have taken place in this ward. I don't have a campaign headquarters. My opponent has a campaign headquarters in downtown, so we're sitting here and we talk about downtown, but this is one of the things that has taken place during the course of this campaign. Thank you, Councilmember. Uh